So that's one way. Now, um, the next thing that we need to ensure is uh, let's open up Notepad. Okay, so you can find Notepad if you go to All Programs, Accessories, and Notepad. Okay, this is a simple text file um, editor. You can click on File, Open, and you can actually open up STD files. Okay, using this. So let's go to our training folder. You know, wherever we stay, save that bridge uh, eight underscore eight dot std file. Okay, so let's open up. Uh, now I, I saved it under my training folder, and I'm just going to say star std, and let's open up. Uh, you know, my bridge underscore eight dot std. Okay, so if you scroll down in this file, this is a simple text file, right? Uh, you should see some lines that say uh, you know member property American okay so just delete all the lines after I mean you know where you see constants just delete all the lines except the finish line okay so we're gonna end at member property okay so because that's the information that needs to go into that file. And where it says table, ST tube, and, and all that outer diameter, inner diameter, you know, I'm just going to say, uh, you know, that first section. Okay, we can make any name we want, okay, but I'm, going, I'm just going to say uh, that first one is W, say, for example, W, you know, uh, 44 by 335, okay? And this is all given to you on page 114, step number 17, okay? Oh, actually, uh, you know, this should be uh, table ST. Uh, w21 by 44, okay, say for example. Now the second section, uh, we'll call that, uh, let's say, W14 by 38, say for example. And the third one, okay, we don't want to delete that ST, so we'll just leave that as it is. So W, say 14 by 38, and the third section, we'll just call it W4 by 13, okay? And the last section is, is basically pipes 20, that's fine. So now, click on File, Exit, okay, and save this file. MyBridge8.std, okay? Now, uh, uh, make sure that the extension is set to std okay okay uh i need to make sure that that file is closed and you can't have that file open instead at the same time okay now once you do that you can come back uh just to that directory um uh i mean let's go back to uh you know structural modeler okay okay so um now the next thing is to create a mapping file. Now we have some sections inside STAD. We have some sections inside Structural Modeler. How do we do the connection between those two? Uh, we need to create a file, okay? And that file needs to be stored. Um, I mean, you can, you can store it anywhere you want, okay? So let's... Um, uh, go to uh, your data sets, okay? In your data sets that we have sent you, uh, we have sent you uh, under structural modeler, we have sent you a file called bridge mapping file.txt. Okay, if you, if you right click and copy that file, uh, you can copy it to say your desktop, okay? Like like anywhere you want, okay? Just copy it to your desktop. And what that file contains is a mapping. 
Okay, basically it tells you says if defined in structural modeler is that W21 by 44 in the stat file and, and so on, okay? So let's uh, save that file. Now let's go to structural modeler. And on the left hand side of your screen in structural modeler, we have analysis structural analytical, okay? Tab. Click on analysis import under data exchange. And it'll pop up this dialog box, okay? Now it'll ask you for the, the file name that you want to import. The, now select the Stat Pro as the analysis program to import from. And try to find your STD file. Now my STD file is located under C colon training. And it's called bridge, my bridge underscore eight dot STD. The mapping file that I want to use is on my desktop. Okay, it's called bridge mapping file.std. Okay, so there's the, the file. And if you go to import options, just make sure that these import options are set properly. Okay, on page 115, figure 11, we show you those options, okay? Now, with that, we'll just click on import, and what it does is structural modeler will actually go through your stat file, look for in you know, the proper sections, uh, I mean, it'll try to do the mapping for those sections, and uh, Finally, it'll give you a tabular, a table that basically summarizes all the member uh, names and sections and so on that is, it has imported from Stat Pro. Okay, so this is the table that comes up um, after the import. And you see the new sections that has been assigned. Okay, you don't see any W sections. You know, you see HSS sections and so on come up. And uh, what you can do then is just click on uh, update. Okay, what that will do is it will basically write uh, all the members to your model. Okay. Okay, so this uh, dialog box was the design history dialog box. Now you can click on the fit view icon on each of these boxes and you see your bridge model has been imported into structural modeler and it's basically a, a 3D model, okay? You can render it if you want using an illustration option, okay? Or you can just say smooth rendering if you want, okay? And then you can do more uh, of the refining on this model, okay? So say for example, now in this model, uh, you see things are actually split into smaller pieces, right? Like these sections. I mean, when you generate your drawings, you know, you don't want these sections to be split like these. So you can actually pick each of these members like you do in Stack Pro, and you can actually form members. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one side of, of this structure. Okay, so once you pick all those members, there's an option on the left hand side under structural physical, uh, structural, uh, sorry, you, you just go up, uh, modify member and you just say join members okay what it does is it basically uh, form it forms a physical member out of what you've uh, selected and once once that's uh, merged into one physical member you can uh, uh, you, you can basically offset it if you want okay 
So now if I zoom in and I click on that member, it, it is actually one single beam member. And what I'll also do is double click on it and offset it, okay, with the distance of say, uh, you know, 0 0.5 inches. And that'll offset it. Integration. So after doing all the all the cleanup for the structural modeler file, uh, you will be able to go in and uh, and you know basically do your same drawing extraction. So this is the the, the model for the same bridge. Just turn on the lights, okay? And now if I uh, show you that, this is uh, the 3D view. Okay, and here we see we're putting those offsets properly and all the members are actually one piece, okay? Uh, so if you go to Reference Drawing Manager, if you go to Plan at 15, it'll basically quickly generate a plan view or a plan drawing showing you all the section names. You can move the text if you want at any location. Uh, if you want framing elevations, okay, so this will actually show you uh, a framing um, elevation of, you know, your, your bridge structure. Okay, so I think um, uh, that was the, uh, the last uh, section that I wanted to cover. Uh, uh, all those instructions are there um, in your in your manual. And again, if you have any uh, questions or comments, you know I've given you our phone number uh, and email addresses. Uh, you can contact Laura or me uh, at any time and uh, you know seek help. Uh, and again, uh, we. I want to thank you for uh, attending these uh, trainings and also watching these presentations and using Bentley products. And we wish you all the best for uh, this year's uh, Steel Bridge uh, competition. Thank you and uh, have a nice day.